You're a weak, pitiful creature. Well, I've got to admit, I'm surprised you don't even have a single bruise. This is the first time this has ever happened. No opponent of mine is standing after an attack like that. As true as that may be, you've never fought against me before. guy's entire body is a blade, so his blades don't have a front or a back. She's stronger than any adult among us. Kuina. Kuina is dead, Zoro. yourself with only one? Unfortunately, I don't carry any blades smaller than this one. I have had just about enough of your attitude. <coughs> now you die! You have no idea how big the world really is. Pony! I've just propelled all physical injury from Strahan's body. His exhaustion. His pain. 
What rests before you is the sum total of anguish he endured during his battle. If you truly wish to take his place, then you must accept and inflict his agony upon yourself. As close to death as you are already, not only will it undoubtedly kill you, it will do so painfully. Two men agree to have a duel with each other. No matter what the outcome is, they have to accept it. You've got a man up! Can't let people walk all over you! to the terms of this game. Quit your belly aching. It's disgraceful. Not one pirate worth his salt is gonna sympathize with those tears. A man would suck it up and quietly watch the rest of this game. <laughs> The way the samurai is found death. Meditation on inevitable death should be performed daily. Every day when one's body and mind are at peace, one should meditate upon being ripped apart by arrows, rifles, spears, and swords. Being carried away by surging waves, being thrown into the midst of a great fire, being struck by lightning, being shaken to death by a great earthquake, falling from thousand foot cliffs, dying of disease. And every day without fail, one should consider himself as dead. This is the substance of the way of the samurai. Our bodies are given life in the midst of nothingness. Existing where there is nothing is the meaning of the phrase, form and emptiness. That all things are provided for by nothingness is the meaning of the phrase, emptiness is form. Oh, 
town who pray and pick on the weak but what really bothers me is people like you who just let it happen and don't fight back well think again this is not the kind of world where some bully little weakling like you can easily survive uh. Do you want to go home to Mama? I'm 
going to become a boxer! All right, remember now, keep your hands up and survive this round. Keep your guard strong no matter what happens and hang tough. I need to work harder. That's it! One step forward at last. I did it. I'd like to be a professional boxer. I want to train and become strong and compete in real matches. Oh, it feels great! Everyone has his own story behind boxing. They all have their own hardships, but they don't show it. Well, I was... I was accepted. I was accepted here today. I can hardly believe that you guys accepted me. Don't tell me you forgot! Come on, use your head! Remember when I taught you how to punch the heavy bag? Ta-da! Think of this as that scum sucker and punch it to pieces. That doesn't work. So I'm not an artist. Just shut up and do it. It'll make you feel better. When you're angry, you punch full blast! Full blast! Right!
Christian. Good job, kid. You fought a hell of a fight. Your move. Your chance at the best is right in front of you. The things people say. They tell stories of your amazing strength. How you glide through oceans of blood. Beyond human. A monster whose powers radiate with a darkness that casts a shadow on darkness itself. Finally, I get to know once and for all if there's anything more to you than rumor. Your body is no longer that of a human, neither is your soul. Your unshaken mercy for others is a sign of weakness. No matter what the rest of us do, really we're all just chasing your shadow. Hm. He has left many a great fighter beaten or dead, unable to match his unshakable victor's mentality. He knows he's the strongest, he knows he's the greatest, and no one has ever proven otherwise. I feared you. The stories, anyway. <laughs> your control over your body leaves something to be desired. <laughs> what kind of idiot loses twice in one day? His mental capacity is far stronger than any muscle on his frame for it is unquestionably his head that convinces his body that it is stronger than any man or beast he may face. He was my friend! He was weak! <laughs> the Green Berets, the Seals, both of them wiped out. We have a situation on our hands, gentlemen. If I may, I believe we should retreat, sir. We've lost enough good men for one day. I don't believe his objective is to fight us, sir. I think he just sees us as getting in his way. Mm, I knew it. You've got the hate. I sense something inside you. You love the sight of blood, have violence in your soul. Yujiro's strikes are even faster than my blade! Faster than my jab! Come on, let's take his heart out! No, Baki! A perfect human body, one that has been pushed well beyond the limits. With the reactions and strength of a champion boxer, the speed of a world-class sprinter, the plasticity of a gymnast, and the stamina of a marathon runner.
a true warrior defeated. Only by death is a true victor crowned. Good. Just in time. Looks like you've had a chance to warm up. Unless you become stronger, you might even get killed in your sleep. You mustn't have any self-doubt. Only then will you become stronger. Armor that's hard enough can even be used as a weapon. Gotta get stronger. So I can hold lots of swords. Two's not enough, I'll use three. Welcome to the end of your life. And I promise it's going to hurt. We're, we're scared of what we don't know, and there is only one way to know, and that is to confront that fear. You have to step. You have to go. This simple attitude, it answers so many questions. You step. You go. You face the fear of the unknown. You step. Take action, now. When two men agree to have a duel with each other, no matter what the outcome is, they have to accept it. The first step you need to take is just that. Step. Any type of danger, right, gives you this flight or fight response. So train. It starts with training. achieve power and even when bad things are happening you know standing stoically saying okay let me take another look at that and I'll get it done you've had enough you've suffered so much from my foolish dream forgive me I did what I wanted until the end you've given it your best shot you can stand down you can back off. You can rest. Do not listen to that instinct. Listen, I don't mind if you're easygoing most of the time, but right now you've got to man up. You can't let people walk all over you. I'd rather fight for my life than live it. Sprinter, the plasticity of a gymnast, and the stamina of a marathon runner. who can eat the most. I sure was hungry. He just ate 57 full course meals. Really? I lost track around 40.
weapon seems to be finer than any I've ever seen. I want you to try and kill me with it. I know what you're up to. Yeah, you want to be the king, huh? First, you gotta go through me! Got it! Got it! Got an evil spirit. This might not be enough to make you guys keep me locked up in here. But I'll show you how evil the spirit is anyway. Maybe then you'll see why letting me out of here is a bad idea. No! Don't go! Son of a bitch! What is this? Looking at him is enough to send chills down my spine. Jotaro Kujo. 17 years old, 195 centimeters tall. The truth is, the thugs he tangled with were all armed with nunchucks and knives. He put all of them in a hospital. He fought four punks, one being an ex-boxer. He broke 15 of their bones, and he busted their balls. Hey, on your feet, Cujo! You're being released! What part of go home don't you understand? I'm asking you, what did you do just now? Why are you alive? Seems I've been possessed by an evil spirit, and I've no idea what'll make me do next. During that fight, it took all I had just to stop it. So do everyone a favor and leave me in this cage. Jotaro! 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 Shut up! Get out of my face, you bitch! You're still 
Zant has incredible power. You see, in life, you have to forge your own path. No one can do it for you, so I'll offer you some guidance. But first, you have to go through a little pain. He's so handsome. Move it, bitch. <laughs> Is that all? Is that all the power you've got? Bastard. This guy's strong. Damn it, Joe Toro! What the hell are you doing? You good for nothing, Eric! Crap! <laughs> Joe Toro! Crap! <laughs> What did you do just now? Your valiant hero finally bit the dust! Is that so? And who exactly would replace me, Jotaro Kujo? Jotaro, it's time to get serious! Stop trying to act cool and use your blasted head! Good thing you didn't scream. That annoys me all the freaking hell. How it's done. See, you just paved your own path. Congrats on being a fast learner. Here ends the lesson. Okay. I'm not done yet. You're right. The hero has so much to protect in this world. <laughs> 
You've gotten weaker, All Might. When you think you can't go on anymore, look inside. I must remember. Remember why it is you clench your fist. Where I started. Your past. Remember where you came from. Keeping your origin in mind will help push you past your limits. Should have been out of power a long time ago. I'm coming for you! I don't think so. Because I am here. Stand up and show them why you're better! You won't be able to stop him head on. Can you still fight? It's do or die. You must go past your limit. I will. What the hell's going on with that weak little body? Looks like we made it in time. No matter how scared you are, you should smile to show that things will be okay. In this world, the ones always smiling are the ones who are the strongest. I prefer you to remain silent. Are you holding back against me? Win this! Beat him! Come on, Almighty! In my heart, I remain the symbol of peace. Which is why I will defeat you!
Look at him. He's nothing but a runt. That punk must think he's something special. Money and fame just don't matter to me. All I want to do is get better, so I need the best opponents. Uh, no! He was my friend! He was weak! Oh! <laughs> I'll create death tonight. Mm, I knew it. You've got the hate. <laughs> that you may never become your father's equal. Make me your opponent! You have such beautiful anger in me. This boy is the son of Yujiro Hanma. the best, you have to beat the best. It's your move. Your cowardice makes a mockery of you. I'd be honored if you would use it on me. I want you to try your hardest to cut me down. <laughs> Where is he? I'm ready to end this now. Why would one kid just walk into that? It's suicide. Clearly, you're quite advanced. Your father will be surprised at this point. Only by death is a true warrior defeated. Only by death is a true victor crowned. I want to fight, and I'm tired of waiting. Time to shut up and dance.
Well, you sure have a lot of guts, I'll give you that much. Okay, so who wants to die next? The ultimate creative capacity of the human brain may be, for all practical purposes, infinite. <laughs> to use the computer analogy, man is a vast storehouse of data. I encourage you to understand that the challenge that's ahead of you is not to be trivialized. It is clear that persons who live close to their capacity, who continue to activate their potential, have a pronounced sense of well-being and considerable energy. They see themselves as leading purposeful and creative lives. Believe me when I say that your mind can be compared to an undiscovered gold mine. And it makes no difference whether you're 17 or 70. You've grown so much.
anything else you can find in a pig or a horse. The human mind is the one thing that separates us from the rest of the creatures on Earth. Anything that comes to us in the future will almost certainly come to us as a result of the extent to which we use our minds. I've waited a long time for this. You will scream. If you want to develop the muscles of your body, you take daily exercise of some sort. Well, the mind is developed the same way. <laughs> Last of all, the only thing in the world that can take you to your goals in life is your mind, its effective use, and following through on the good ideas it supplies you. Each of us has a tendency to underestimate his or her own abilities. We should realize that we have, deep within ourselves, a reservoir of great ability, even genius. I was young, people have feared my power. They have forced me to hold back. I don't care what kind of condition he's in or how much time it takes to do it. Whether it's only 10 seconds or even 10 hours, I plan on demonstrating the destruction of a human body. Consider the things your mind has brought you, everything you have. Now consider the estimate made by experts. You have probably been operating on less than 10% of your mental capacities, much less. Man is using a very small fraction of his capacity. Now how can we tap this gigantic potential? Getting the things we want from life is a matter of solving the problems which stand between where we now are and the point we wish to reach. The way the samurai is found in death. Meditation on inevitable death should be performed daily. Every day when one's body and mind are at peace, one should meditate upon being ripped apart by arrows, rifles, spears, and swords. Being thrown into the midst of a great fire. Being struck by lightning. Being carried away by surging waves. Being shaken to death by a great earthquake. Falling from thousand foot cliffs, dying of disease. And every day without fail, one should consider himself as dead. This is the substance of the way of the samurai. It is a good viewpoint to see the world as a dream. When you have something like a nightmare, you will wake up and tell yourself that it was only a dream. It is said that the world we live in is not a bit different from this. Matters of great concern should be treated lightly. Matters of small concern should be treated seriously. Our bodies are given life in the midst of nothingness. Existing where there is nothing is the meaning of the phrase, form is emptiness. That all things are provided for by nothingness is the meaning of the phrase, emptiness is form. One should not think that these are two separate things. There is surely nothing other than the single purpose of the present moment. A man's whole life is a succession of moment after moment. If one fully understands the present moment, there will be nothing else to do and nothing else to pursue. There is something to be learned from a rainstorm. When meeting with a sudden shower, you try not to get wet and run quickly along the road. By doing such things as passing under the eaves of houses, you still get wet. When you are resolved from the beginning, you will not be perplexed, that you will still get the same soaking. This understanding extends to all things.
腕がなけりゃ祈れねえとでも祈りとは心の所作。
my body, my name. Who am I? We live simultaneously on three planes of understanding. We're spiritual creatures, we have an intellect, and we live in physical bodies. The most important word on Earth is pronounced attitude. Because we lack awareness or understanding of who we are, we're totally locked into a physical world, and we let things outside of us control us. 95% of the population are reacting to life. They're not really living at all. Do you feel the world is treating you well? If your answer is a quick yes, your attitude is good. If your answer is no, your attitude is bad. The principle of unity, of coming to a sense of, of oneness with the whole of the rest of the universe, is not to try to obtain power over the rest of the universe. That will only disturb it and uh, antagonize it and make it seem less one with you than ever. The way to become one with the universe is to trust it. The person with the attitude that he can't do something will seldom do it. The person who believes he can does. Perhaps not the first time, but his attitude gives him the confidence to stay with it until it's been accomplished. Because we tend to get what we really expect from life, it makes a lot of sense to choose to be optimistic rather than pessimistic. God became man, that man might become God. The transformation of the cosmos. Your basic mind is like space. It is completely pure. It's like your head is, from the optical point of view, a blank space. Neither light nor dark. It's right in the middle of everything. If you think you know what you're going out for, all you're doing is you're seeking the past. What you already know, what you've already experienced. Therefore, that's not it, is it? Because you say you're looking for something quite new. The highest state of consciousness is called non-conceptual. So the non-conceptual knowledge, this kind of catatonic state, was mystical consciousness. Most people go through life quietly and safely, tiptoeing to an early grave. Find out what it is you want and go after it as if your life depends on it. Why? Because it does. Do what you can, where you are with what you have, and never be satisfied. Always strive to be more than that which you are. Why are you here? It's not to stand still. It's not to think I'm good enough now. I've got enough education. I don't need to learn anymore. Learning, education is a lifelong process. We should come to the end of our days still learning. Find ways to do the things you do that reflect you and your own unique talents and abilities. If you do this, no other person in the world can operate exactly as you do. You will not be competing with anyone. You will be creating from within yourself. We're always worrying. Did I think this over long enough? Did I take enough data into consideration? And if you think it through, you find you never could take enough data into consideration. The data for a decision in any given situation is infinite. You may make a mistake. You may make a bad gamble. But in the long run, you're acting on a principle which has the backing of evolution. This is the way biological evolution goes on. Constant delegation of authority. Suddenly you find you have the power. This enormous access of energy.
constantly. Everything is dissolving constantly. We're all falling apart. We're all in a process of constant death. That fact that everything is in decay is your helper. That is allowing you that you don't have to let go because there's nothing to hold on to. That's all for now, folks.